everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna do this holiday cut crease. Um, this is my second time doing a cut crease. I absolutely love it. Gold red is my jam. And I hope you guys really do wanna see it. So continue watching. I'm gonna go in with deep plum and start carving out the cut crease. I'm just going slightly above where my actual crease is, as you can see. The brush I'm using is the Morphe M160 1 4th. Um, I like this brush because it's angled. You usually want to go in with an angled um, liner brush to help you guide you with a cut crease. So my lines are not going to be perfect. I'm going to blend the tops of the line. So it, I wouldn't be blending like down here, I'll be blending above it, so right about up here. I want a nice warm brown going through my crease, so I'm going to go in with Cocoa Bear and I'm just going to use it to blend the tops of the line I created. So I'm just bringing it up here. Above my fake crease and it's going to help transition the purple. And bring some color. This is a pencil brush. This is C431 Precision, precision Brush. Um, I'm not sure if it's Crown or Morphe. Okay, while doing that, you can see that my original line disappeared. You want to go back in with the angle brush and create that line again. I'm going back in with my dark purple brown, deep plum, and creating the cut crease again. This deep shade is pretty much in, similar to black. You can use black if you don't have a deep purple brown. I'm actually going to add black into this um, line. What helps me personally with cut creases and making them more precise is um, after you finish doing the cut crease and adding your lid shade, when you add it, use like a flat um, synthetic brush so you can really carve it out um, underneath this line that we are creating right now. But um, if, it, if you make little mistakes like covering up the dark line, you can always go back, put it in. You know, it's always going back, fixing and fixing and tweaking. So if you want to, you can start flipping it up to help blend. Now I'm going to go in with black eyeshadow to just make it geek immortal. So I'm done playing with my crease now, and I'm going to go on with my lid shade. I'm going to use Urban Decay Half Baked. This is an extremely, extremely old palette. This is, I don't think it has a name. Urban Decay something, something, something. I think I got it from eBay. That was like my first Urban Decay item or something. But um, this is Half Baked right down here. And you see how it's a rounded tip. It's going to help me carve. But first, I'm going to apply it on my eye, mobile eyelid, and then I'll show you how I would carve out my crease with this shade. Uh, you don't really have to foil it. You'll take your brush, like you're stabbing your eyeshadow, but you're not really. You want to cover the tip of the brush. Make the wing fill up that area. Now I'm going to take this medium sized fluffy brush. This is Elf Wallace Concealer Brush. 
and I'm just going to slightly help blend to the top of my cut crease. I'm going to take this short shader. This is a brush from eBay. It's called Jess Up. Like a short shader like this will help and I'm just going to help blend out the top of my cut crease some more. I'm going to add some cocoa beer. I'm now going to go in with my Immortal Gem Liner and I'm going to do a wing line tracing along, make it equal with my already shaped cat eye. So just wear your basic eyeliner and yeah. So I added my liner as you can see and then I added my foxy lashes by Coco. Um, yeah, these have become my favorite lashes now. I've used them a while ago and I just came back to using them again. They are just overall dramatic all around and it's so pretty. Now I'm going to open my Stila in the light palette. I'm going to take the color Kitten and use it as my inner corner highlight. Now I'm going to take my gel liner and put it in my waterline. So I have Igora eyes, meaning frog eyes, and my eyes are huge. Wearing black liner or anything black or dark in your waterline will make your eyes smaller. So if you have small eyes, you can skip this step, this step. But I'm adding black gel liner in my waterline so I can smoke out my bottom lash line. Now I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Plum, which is the dark purple brown. And I'm going to smoke out my bottom lash line and add some Cocoa Bear from Makeup Week. This has a little bit of black on it. Let me take it off. So I'm going to finish off my face makeup. I'm going to wear the blush Redwood. It's by Without. For my highlight, I'm going to use 10K, which is the highlight powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills, this shade right here. Hmm. A bit over highlighted, but don't we all want to be over highlighted? I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. For the lips, I'm going to wear uh, Vampire. It is an LA Splash Lip Couture, and it's a beautiful red. I love reds. You already know red and gold is amazing. And that was one coat. I, lo I love this. I love this color. When I have another coat, I'm just going to let it dry, though. I'm going to add some mascara on my bottom lash line because I always forget. You know what this lips remind me of? Well, this whole look, especially with this shirt. It reminds me of the manga Vampire Night. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't read manga. But it so looks like it, right? But anyway, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys really liked it. It's very holiday-esque. It's a gold cut crease. You can wear this for New Year's Eve or... You know, any other holiday when the holidays come back around because Christmas already passed and Thanksgiving is already over, but this is definitely for New Year's Eve. Um, if you happen to like this video, be sure to thumbs it up and comment down below anything you want to tell me about. And do subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in another video. Thank you for watching.